Hey everyone, Jen Wadke here, and this video is a retraction uh, of a previous video I made a few years ago about orgasm. In that video, I stated that some of the literature and the videos and the education that were out there surrounding orgasm felt like unachievable and performative. I stated that as women, it felt like now there were all these so many things that we needed to be able to achieve to be, you know, sexual beings, to be fully realized sexual beings. Breast orgasm, energy orgasm, clitoral orgasm, anal orgasm, and on and on and on. I said that orgasm really is nothing more than the pleasurable release of sexual tension. And that our experience of orgasm within ourselves can be so variable that we didn't need to try to be able to do all of these other types of orgasm. I was wrong. <laughs> Complete stop. I was full on wrong. What changed? I'm enrolled in a sex coaching certification course and I went on a retreat. And I think one of the good things I did was I really left all my expectations at the door. I was paying really good money to go to this retreat. So I went, I'm going to full bore, go into all of my sessions and give it my all and release my preconceived notions and expectations and beliefs around the sexuality work that we were doing. In one of these sessions, it was a breathwork session with a focus on energy and orgasm. So here I was in a room full of 40 other women being guided through this practice of breathwork and building energy within my body and then directing the energy to uh, achieve pleasure. Much to my surprise, there I was, fully clothed, hands at my sides, not touching myself, and I almost had an orgasm in the middle of this room. An energy orgasm, one of the orgasms that in that previous video I stated not directly, but kind of implied wasn't really real and that we shouldn't be, you know, necessarily trying to achieve all of these things that orgasm was orgasm and every orgasm is a good orgasm, which is kind of true. Every orgasm is a good orgasm, but this experience blew my mind. There I was with the power of my breath and directing the energy able to bring myself to orgasm. I didn't because we didn't have quite enough time in the session, but another 15 minutes and I would have had an energy orgasm in this room full of people. So I retract my statement that all, all orgasms are the same. They're not. Fundamentally, it is true that orgasm, all orgasms are a release of sexual tension, a pleasurable release of sexual tension. But there are more ways in than I previously acknowledged. And it did feel, it felt different, not necessarily physically, but it felt different the way that I was building that and the way that I grew that orgasm. So what's next? I'm gonna continue to experiment. It's mind blowing to me that without the use of toys, without the use of my hands, without touching myself, just using my breath and my intention, my energy, and my own body, which are free. Everybody has access to that. Everybody can learn to do this. You can build pleasure to the point of orgasm. So my personal journey the next few months are going to be to continue to work on these practices, to continue to grow my ability to do this so that it takes less time and that it's consistent and that I can access this type of orgasm and pleasure whenever I want. Um, and I'm happy that I was wrong. I was happy that I've learned new pathways to experience pleasure and bliss. And if I can do it, you can do it. So stay tuned. I'm going to continue working with these practices and sharing with you my journey and sharing with you what I learned so that um, if you're so inclined, you can also start some of these practices and start building your own blissful, beautiful, new, deeper, sensual, erotic, pleasurable, orgasmic practices because the world needs more pleasure and more orgasms. So stay tuned and we will catch you next time.